What's good guys, it's your man BG Tech Life here. And today, I wanted to talk about a throwback device that I own. The Google Pixel 3 XL. Now, this device is definitely running Android 12 and Beta 3. So I got it updated all the way to Beta 3 Android 12. And that's the newest, that's the, that's the not even our Android, that's the Beta Android. And that's big to me, and I think it's big for the, especially for the Android community, guys, because you this device dropped in 2018, guys. This is a device from 2018, three years ago, and it's running the newest Android. This device is, has a Snapdragon 845 processor, only four gigs of RAM. So at, as far as software go, this is a big win for Google. Um, for this device to be able to run the newest Android, be this old, be this underpowered for, you know, as far as compared to the flagships that are coming out now, speaks a lot on what Android is doing with their software and um, how the optimization is starting to kick in, guys, because I have the, 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 the beta software, and yes, there's some kinks because it's a beta that have to be worked out, but it is running the beta smooth, guys. Um, so this is definitely an update on how my Pixel 3XL was doing in 2021. It's running the newest at the beta Android that's not even out, guys. So that's just a good look for Android phones and some longevity, guys. Because we don't need to just make it about this year's phones. We need to make it about phones prior to. We need to be able to tell the consumers and our audiences that watch us, it's okay to have a phone that's a year too old. Because guess what? Android is working to make the software better so you can get more updates and your phone is not completely unusable. It was a, it was times when we were getting updates that was completely damn near breaking phones, making them unusable. But Google Pixel 3XL with only four gigs of RAM. Now you got phones coming with 12 gigs of RAMs all the way up to Snapdragon 888. It's still running the beta smoothly this is not the fastest phone on the market of course it's not as fast as a new pixel of course but this is four pixels this is the three we done had the pixel we done had the the four we done had the four a we done had the five we about to have a six so this is phones phones ago there's so many phones go to this phone only cost me a hundred dollars guys so it's um it's a great job to google because um, when you have software, when you have the newest beta software and you still having it on old phones, yes, that was Apple's selling point some years ago, but now we're doing the same thing over here on the Android forefront, guys, which, which gives value to older devices, which gives us time to actually get to use our devices and really take in our devices, guys. We don't always have to be on the newest device to get the best out of Android, you know? And um, I just think that's really important. Um, as far as this device go, it's been performing fairly well with the beta on there. Like I said, there's some kinks that need to be worked out. I cannot sit here and say it's the device's fault because we're using beta software, guys. But um, it's been a pretty solid experience. And um, all the features and all the... I'm enjoying It's basically like having... When you have an older device and it gets... Uh, upgrade like this or, or, or new software like this where things have been changed it's almost like getting a new device for a true techie this is christmas guys so um yeah i just wanted to really reiterate that because we just go sick if it's not new we're not worried about it if it's not what's coming out or what's just came out we're not worried about it but now we should be able to you know take this time to really look back at things and say wow android it's really giving us a couple phones of use. You know what I mean? Like Google has been doing this, but hopefully all manufacturers follow and give us uh, the older devices are able to run. The, the software is optimized. We're able to run on these older devices and we don't feel like we got to run to the store every year, every two years. You know, we can kind of like depend on these older devices to be still capable of performing to a certain degree and i do say that with a certain degree i don't mean that you your older device is not going to be as good as the new s21 ultra or the 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 s22 that's coming out but 
is you is going to be able to function and you're going to be able to utilize that device guys so um yeah the pixel 3 3 xl is st still a big dog guys for it to be 100 i paid 94 dollars on this device for this device on swapper you know what i mean so this is just a a, a big one when i really sat back and thought about it I said, this is a big one for google and i got to talk to my people and i got to tell my people about it because a lot of us have forgotten a lot of us have forgotten guys about these older devices like this is to this is nobody is going to cover this nobody's going to say anything about this but you are able to put the newest android on this device and use it like i'm doing i'm using it I, i'm not talking about something that i've seen or i heard i have the beta 3 on here and it's running fairly well so just remember guys the importance of things like that that's one of the reasons that a lot of people stick to the apple ecosystem because they know that the iphone 8 plus is still getting updates and still getting ios 14 or 15 or whatever so on our on the android side it's important that we get to that point guys but um yeah i was just excited and i had to let y'all know man it's your boy bg tech life this is my pixel google pixel 3xl shout out to google um for doing big things and optimizing the software and pushing the software out to these older devices and these older devices still being able to be usable and run the software it's your man bg i'm out peace